Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ramp Studio Comics. Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm drawing a new suit design of Wonder Woman over top of this existing pose. Uh, the reason why this can be a really great exercise and fun to do is now you don't have to think about the pose. You can just think about the characteristics of the design of the suit elements, things like that. So it really alleviates that bit of mental burden uh, by trying to focus on all those different dynamics at once and those different variables. So uh, I really recommend trying something like this. I'll make sure there's a copy of the uh, pose on my website uh, so that you can access that. Uh, this actually started as an inspiration from Impact Books doing a contest where you could win a pre-release copy of my new book, Learn to Draw Action Heroes, uh, being printed and distributed by them. Uh, if this contest is no longer going, because uh, it was only it was only until June 30th, 2017, if it's no longer going, you could still get a copy of the art file from my website, I'll make sure there's a link, like I said, and uh, you can work along and do this if you like. So with that, uh, drawing through this and really enjoying the process, this is uh, just fun to do. Uh, I love Wonder Woman. She's just, I just love her. She's awesome. If she was real, I'd hug her, you know, whatever. I know you would too, so don't, don't judge me. But anyways, uh, it's just fun to do. It's fun to take a character that we know and love and, you know, redesign a concept to him. Uh, one of the reasons why I like doing this is because there's such a strong um, idea of the character already. You've, you've seen them in all these different, uh, you know, movies and, and animations and all this stuff. So you got a very strong perception of what the character is like. But then to take that and do a suit design, uh, a new effect of it, uh, you know, really becomes interesting because you have to get a nice mixture of you want some elements that definitely look like Wonder Woman, but then you also want to give it your own spin and show people how creative you can be and, and come up with your own thing. So it really does teach you something. It really does uh, stretch the imagination, which is always fun. Um, and it, it's tricky to do because if you change it too much and it's like, eh, yeah, it's all right, but it's not Wonder Woman. As well as if you leave it too close to the original concept, then somebody might just think it's a poorly drawn version of the original. So you have to have that nice balance of difference in there and creative uh, changes. Uh, but still keep some of those key components that make it Wonder Woman. So in this case, my thought process was, you know, the WW have that present in a couple areas. Uh, the stars that are uh, very, uh, you know, much present in all her designs. And even the eagle, um, I didn't want to put the eagle up the center chest plate, uh, which I think is the more, uh, you know, up-to-date version, I guess. Uh, but I ended up using it as an asymmetrical value uh, as a shoulder plate, and you'll see that here shortly. So uh, I doubled up the, the little bracelets. I changed the boots a little bit, you know. So all these little things to add up to hopefully having an interesting look, but different than any original concepts that you might have already seen. You know, and also I'd like to get some feedback from you guys. So if you see this, and you, as you're seeing this unfold, it should hopefully spark some of your own ideas. I'd love to know what those are. So comment in the section below and say, hey, I think it would have been really cool if you had tried this or done that. Uh, that's really where this stuff is so powerful because when you're working in a studio with other artists, it can usually get some real, uh, you know, some back and forth going on and some ideas to, uh, to kind of unfold. So there's that shoulder plate I was telling you about. It's supposed to be an eagle. Kind of looks like a crazy chicken or something, but it's supposed to be an eagle. Uh, and then, you know, picking apart at it. Uh, soft erasing parts of it down, getting ready to adjust the face here. Uh, I will make sure to mention this too. One of the best ways I think to get the face right is to flip the work and also resize the work. Uh, one of the beautiful things about this particular program, and although this video isn't about this program, I just want to make mention of it, you can flip that window and resize it all at the same time. So you can see as I'm drawn to the left side, really I'm drawn either one of them, it changes the opposite one. And really allows you to resize the window and you know you could rotate the one window whatever you want to do so highly powerful and effective for illustrators to be able to spot flaws the best way i've always found is if i held my work up in a mirror uh, but this is that same effect and as well as being able to zoom out and see it from a distance it really helps to save time so that is what it is um so yeah and then with the hair here trying to get that feel like, you know, Wonder Woman always has this really lush, bouncy, flowing hair. Sorry, I'm not trying to sound like a Pantene Pro-V commercial here, but, you know, just, just this really full-body hair kind of effect. 
Uh, I didn't go as curly as her hair is normally depicted. I kind of felt like that would be a nice little change as well. Uh, also, I'm not the best at drawing curly hair, so maybe that was a little bit of my laziness as well. But I gave it a little bit more of a flowing curl kind of effect. Um, but I think really shading it was tricky and getting it to um, to look right. So I, I kind of keep you know playing with that. And if you notice, uh, whenever I leave something and come back to it, it's generally because I'm actually struggling to get it right. I'm trying to figure out you know, what I want to see there. There I'm using the mesh transformation to fix the breastplate because uh, I felt like that was awkward in shape and, you know, kind of lean to the one side. Um, but again, I will. I'll, I'll jump to one thing in the artwork and then move over to something else. So I, I try not to really fight the process, I guess. If I'm not getting it, I'm not getting it. I might do more harm than good. So I'll actually just come back to it after drawing on something else. So I don't know if that'll work for you, but it definitely works for me. So yeah, so very fun to do something like this, very interesting. I'm just wrapping it up now with tightening up some of the uh, the edge work and, and giving it a little bit more uh, line weight and things like that, darkening the lips and uh, getting ready to sign it. So I'd love to know what you guys think of this particular video and what you'd like to see in the future. I'll get that on the schedule. And also, if you do your own depiction of this, I'd love to see that as well. So make sure you tag me in the post. You know, you can tweet it or you can uh, Instagram it, whatever you want to do, whatever's hip, whatever's cool these days. And uh, as always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.